Hi guys and ladies, I found a five star pan fried tilapia recipe online. Well, usually when you see five stars in a recipe, you'll see a chunk missing from that last star. But this recipe gets a solid five. Everyone loved it and it looks so good. I wonder if it'll work with bass. And you know what? All I need are the bass. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start out with this. This is called a boar hogs. You might remember that I used it last week to catch a couple of nice bass. But well, let's see if it works now. We can always try other lures. We've got to get enough fish for our five star fried bass dinner. So let's get out there on the lake. Ah, yes siree, Bobby. All right, perfect size. We need to remove, look how skinny it is. See, too many of these small guys and we need to remove them. That's what the scientist said. Read the notes below, please. Yep, a fish. Oh, oh, it's too big. I think when they're big and healthy, I have to release them. Oh yeah, almost 13 inches, 12 and three quarters. I'm gonna let him go. Golly gee, willikers, excuse my language. Oh, ho, ho. what a nice fish. 15 and three quarters inches. All right, nice fish. I'm so happy to catch these, but I have to return them. The scientists say it's best for the lake. Looks like a mine storm, so I need to stay close to the house. Whoa, look at that. Very small, but very edible. We need to remove this. I've got to get in the boathouse. It's raining just too hard and it's uncomfortable. been raining hard like this for over two hours now. How am I going to do this recipe and bring you a video? So maybe if I bundle up, I can, I can withstand the rain. Let's give it a shot. Oh, it's little. Ah. <laughs> little but I don't care. We're back in the swing of things. I'm gonna put them in a basket. Now you see I didn't want the snapping turtles to eat the fish on the stringer so I went to a basket during the rain. Watch. It's too big, 13 inches. He needs to be preserved. Yeah, stay on. You're little, I know, you're little. <laughs> but I need food.
Yeah. Oh, he's so little. Oh, jeez. Look the other way. I got a fish. Whoa. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. You gotta grab them hard by that lower jaw. Nice, too nice. I'm gonna say 12 and a quarter. That's close enough. I'm allowed to keep them. They'll be perfect for the five-star recipe. Got one. I got one. Very little, but that's okay. All right, <laughs> it'll do fine. Well, somehow we managed to dodge the rain. Now we've got plenty of bass in our basket. Let's get back in the house and fillet our little guys. And tomorrow it's pan fried bass, a five star recipe. Well, here it is the next day. We were fortunate yesterday to avoid the rain and cull a goodly number of bass. I froze some fillets, but looky here. I still have over a pound left of these beautiful little bass fillets, and I can't wait to pan fry them. But first, let's make a really easy side dish. I've got a little olive oil in this pot, and all I'm going to do is saute these onions for like 10 minutes. The recipe says five, but that's never enough. 10 minutes. Here's the heart of our side dish. Green beans. My mother used to call these string beans, but now they come with no strings attached. Here I've got a can of crushed tomatoes. I'm just going to add that now. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm going to put in one and a quarter cups of water. Here I've got some salt and pepper together. Here's almost a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Yep, cinnamon. We're just about done. All I have to do is partially cover the pot and let it go for 35 minutes. In the meantime, I'll go watch the ball game. It's been 40 minutes. Let's look at our green beans. Oh, wow. Look at that. The beans look so tender and the sauce is thickened up so nicely. Let's put this on the back burner on warm and then start on our fish. I'm going to make something like a breading or a coating for our fish. Here I've got four tablespoons of flour. That's a quarter cup. Ah, ah, ah. This is not ordinary flour. This is low carb flour. You can probably use almond flour if you're watching carbs or maybe just regular flour. I've got going in four tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of thyme, and a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. I'm totally going off the script now. I'm going to put our breading mixture in a Ziploc bag. I almost forgot. Two teaspoons of oregano are going in. Critical. This is not in the recipe, but I just think it would be better if I pour cream and soak our fish in cream. I'll add a little water. It'll make it just like milk, but a lot lower in carbs. My fillets have been soaking for like 40 minutes. Let's, let's drain them well. Now it's into our seasoning bag. I'm gonna put these in a holding plate now and get our skillet ready. Look how darkly colored these are. Well, it's time to start frying. Here's a whole stick of butter. If you use a smaller pan, use less butter, obviously. Okay, let's put it on about medium. Our butter is all browned. I put this thing on 300, who knows? Let's get going, it's show time. I'm gonna fry these two or three minutes on each side. They're pretty big, they're thick. 
Look at that. <laughs> it's flipping time again. Oh, how dark. I'm sure they're done. I'm getting them out. Let's just flip it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm taking a little bite of a little filet. Mmm. It may look overly seasoned, but it isn't. It's got a little spice and lots of flavor, but not too much of anything. It's wonderful. I know you're going to love this. I've got our fish keeping warm in the oven, but I need to tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is coming here for dinner tonight, and I'm thrilled. Uh, as you may know, though, uh, we've been seeing each other for decades, yet she seems reluctant to even talk about marriage. If I ever expect her to be mine, uh, I need to bring up the subject myself, and tonight I will. Once again, I'm very honored to be with that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, shaggy, shabby chateau. And uh, you were able to chow down on my green beans with tomatoes and onions and my, my pan-fried bass. And I'm anxious to know what you thought of them. They were both very, very good. The, the bass was nicely um, seasoned. And the, of course, the tom the uh, green beans with the tomato sauce were sweet and savory. They it's were the best sweet. thing I can think yeah. of. Yes, it was very good. Nice meal. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Cheeks. Oh, I, I can call you a uh, Lulu sure. now. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking, if you marry <clears throat> the right man, you're complete. But if you marry the wrong man, you're finished. I heard that if you marry a man who likes fishing. You're completely finished. Huh? Oh. Um, <clears throat> can I have a hug?